Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be cooking with our Instapot. I've been looking at a lot of recipes and I've came up with one for the baby back ribs. Stay tuned. <laughs> to another episode with cooking with Kim thank y'all so much for watching and subscribing I hope you like this and if you do give us a thumbs up this right here what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put four cups of apple juice just plain apple juice in my instant pot and to that I am going to add one cup of apple cider I'm going to turn the instant pot on now Okay, now after I add my apple cider vinegar and my apple juice to this, I'm going to hit saute, and I am going to let this come up to a steam, and then I'm going to add my baby back ribs to that. We'll come back to you as soon as it's ready. So you're going to put the lid on or anything? No. You're going to leave All it right, open. So it beeps and comes on? Yep. And then it's going to, it'll take about five minutes, and it's going to start steaming like a bowl, a low bowl, and then we're going to put this in here, and then we're going to put the top on. All right. We'll be right, be back. right back okay the water has come to a simmer as you can see it's starting to steam so at this point what we're going to do is we're going to put our baby back ribs in there now i have taken the membrane off the back where you peel and pull the the backing off to make them a little bit more tender now i'm going to put these in here and you have to kind of stand them up like that so I use my hand, y'all. And that, okay? So you can you have re, that's one rack there. So you have actually at least you room. can put another another rack in there. You can. It really you really should use more. But I mean that's all I'm doing today. Okay. Um, now we're going to turn this off. I'm going to put the top on. Here's a little arrow right here, and it goes right here me a while to realize where it, where it actually went now it's closed okay we're going to turn this to meat and we are going to do it to adjust to more and we're going to go down to 33 minutes this is going to come up to a steam I have my little steamer closed and we're going to cook this for 33 minutes it came on now. Now it's going to start pressurizing. Once it's pressurized and it's cooked, I'll come back to you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of the Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm going to put them on the pan and I'm going to stick them on the grill just because it's hot and I don't want to heat up the house. And I'm just going to kind of caramelize the um, barbecue sauce on there. You're going to take them out and put them on the grill. Right. On there. On okay. that little pan. Okay. And then come back to you and show you. And they are so good. We tried them last week just to give it a shot to see. And it really was good. Kim came up with a good recipe here. She watched a lot of videos. Uh, we know uh, Lisa and Rob on Life and Serenity had an instant pot. And it's instant. I-N-S-T-A-N-T. -N -N it's not insta. Yeah, we so, thought it was insta for the longest time. So it's time. instant pot. So <laughs> they've they got one. Really good... Hi, Rob. Hi, Lisa. Uh, they did ribs. So it looks like we're having a little rib cook-off. That's right. The north versus the south. <laughs> so we'll see what this recipe gives. It came out really good last time. We wish you y'all could have uh, tasted them, but we'll let this cook for uh, thirty minutes or so. And they're so tender. And then we'll show you how to take the top off and release the air and everything. But guys, uh, if you this would be a great deal for your wife uh, for a birthday present, Christmas present. If they don't already have one, and they love to cook. You might want to start this thinking about getting one. This is the best thing that I have ever gotten in my life. I love this. All right. So we'll be back again. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, don't forget to go to RV Adventure TV on Facebook if you got time. And, uh, again, give us a thumbs up if you like the videos, you like our cooking videos. Uh, let us know. Let us comment below. But we'll be back. Okay, everyone, we're back. It now has one minute left on there. What we're going to do when it goes to zero it's going to go into a keep warm mode. We're going to keep it warm and let it cool down for five minutes. And then once it gets to the five minutes, I'm going to undo the pressure and then I'm going to take them out. But I wanted to let you know that once it, once it does go into the, to the low mode, 
There it is right there. I'm going to wait till it gets to low five, and then I'm going to turn it off. And we'll be right back with you in five minutes. Okay, everyone, it's been in here. It's five minutes now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to release the pressure. And you want to make sure you use a spoon or something because you don't want your hand back there. No, it will burn you. So the pressure is going to release... And depends what you're cooking inside this pot. If it's got some type of sauce or anything in there, you got to be kind of careful because if the liquid in there it has, a, if you got a red sauce in there or a gravy or something, when that steam comes up, sometimes you'll get a lot of juices up there, and it could coat your ceiling or whatever. But we're just using just pretty. Actually, if you want to do this, you just gonna keep it on the sealed mode and let it come down at its natural pace. So that way you won't have that problem. All right, we're gonna let this go down and be right back. Okay, everything is done now, and as you'll see, the pressure is turned. The pressure is um down. What's the that? Little, once the little silver thing goes down, that means it's ready. You can open it. See everybody see but that? But not until that releases. So if that's way up, something's still wrong. If that if that is up, do not open it because it will burn you. Okay. And I always. You might want to get over here on the side, Daryl. I always turn it like this and do it against me. So all, everything comes out away from you. Because I don't want to get burned. So you got to be real careful around kids that are helping you in the kitchen. All right. Now, Ooh. I am I need a... Look at that right there, y'all. Now, some of these you got to be real careful on. Because we don't want them to fall the apart before she gets them up on there. That's right. See, like this. Look at that. That one's already almost falling apart. So now they've been pressured up really good. And now so, watch this. Look what Kim's going to do. I'm going to put the barbecue sauce on them. And what you got there? Sweet got, baby rays. To me, this is, uh, you can use any kind you want. This is just my favorite. Yep. So she's just going to throw a bunch of that on there. And what you're going to do once you get all this done, I'm going to put it on the grill just to kind of caramelize it because I don't want to put it in the oven. Yeah. If you, you had an oven, oven with a broiler, you could do the same thing inside yeah. your house. But we're, we're, we're grilling people. We're going to go out and put them on the grill. Give that just nice so get grill hot. taste. So you can put on as much as you want. just depends on your flavor. But uh, this is just to kind of coat the outside and give it your barbecue. <laughs> They're really, really good. Now, some people put rubs on these. Some people do it different ways. So you're just going to find out whatever makes you happy. These came out really good for Kim and I. So And they have absolutely nothing on them. So there's no salt and pepper, mm -mm. nothing. She put them in there, and now she's putting this on there. All right, look yeah, at that. Because they're kind of ugly like this. <laughs> yep. And this will help uh, so you're just not, I don't want to say bo have boiled ribs, but. Um, yeah. I mean, they're done, but I like them. We like them with the barbecue sauce. So now and they're stuff. good and cooked and tender. Now you can do all your stuff to them that you want to to make them taste real good. They're cooked really good. And some, they just fall off some the Some people boil them a little bit and then throw them on the grill and do this for a while. They, with the Instant Pot, I think it's just so easy and so fast. No fuss, no mess. You got a, a good soaking in there with the, with the apple juice. Well, they kind of boil the ones that are in the spare ribs and stuff, the beef spare ribs, because they're hard. But these baby back ribs are, you don't have to do that at all. All right, we're going to finish doctoring these up and then go throw and, them on the grill. And come back to you and show you how good they are. We're just trying to keep these videos short as we can so we're not sitting there boring you by wiping... Uh, barbecue sauce and ribs or doing this and doing that so trying and to keep our video data. shorts because boy we're having an issue with data so all right we'll be back okay we have put them on the grill to let them kind of caramelize and i just want to show you how easy these are look at the bone just coming out y'all you might have to cut those just yeah. to keep the meat on the bone right because i mean look at that they just come apart. Mm, I wish y'all had smell-o-vision. Smell-o-YouTube. Smell 
they're actually very very good i was impressed when we did this and from start to finish it takes 42 minutes how many of y'all can make baby back ribs in 42 minutes that fall off the bone all i can't all right well kim uh, i'm glad you made this again because i'm going to have a great I know, right they're so good all right cooking with kim rv life living on the road full time this is what you can expect right here if, uh, if you really want it, just come and get it. That's right. Well, Kim, thanks again for cooking. and, and um, Not a problem. Anytime, and Daryl. I'll, I'll be eating these. And just remember, everybody. Stop the madness. Start the adventure.